So today I'm going to show you how to use a texture to enhance your image. Uh, we recently released a Dudlet called Worn. Um, there are 16 by 20 textures that uh, we've created in order to enhance your photographs. So I'm going to start here with a newborn baby and I'm going to basically I've already opened my file. I'm going to go into the Dudlet Worn, open one of the textures and simply it's this easy you're actually going to take the texture and you're going to drag it onto your image now these are quite large because I wanted to make sure that we they were large enough to um, be able to use on really large portraits and so forth so anyway this is quite bigger than the image so I'm actually going to size it down so you could just transform it really easily and I actually don't want any of that color to show, so I'm just going to make sure that I keep it out of there for this time. It's really nice for a lot of outdoor kind of portraits to have that little color edge on it, but for one that's in the studio like this, I like it better if it, if it really doesn't have that little color at the edge. So I've transformed it, made it the size that I want to see it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, and, and you can see here I'm in the normal blending mode, so I'm going to actually change that to soft light. Once you see soft light, then you'll see the texture appear in the image. So really nice, quick texture, gives a lot more depth to the image. Now obviously though here, I've, I've brought this up closer so you can see, I really don't want that texture on the child's face or you know on the tutu. So I have there's two ways about doing this. Now one of the ways is to actually go in and here and create a layer mask and then you know, you know make a lasso around what you do not want the texture to appear on, you know, feather it, and then go ahead and fill it with black to actually, you know, remove the texture from that area. Well, one of the things about this texture, which that's fine, but one of the things about this texture is that it actually gives it a little bit of a color cast. So you can see that little warming uh, nature of the texture itself, um, and you're really, if you can see this, I'm going to move the image up so you can basically see how that color shift from here to there is different. So for this I usually do not do a layer mask unless I feel like that the color is making the skin tones way too warm or something that I really don't want. So I'm actually going to go in now. I'm going to throw away this mask because that's not what I want. So delete it. I don't want to apply it. So now here we are back to the situation. Remember this is in normal and then we've normal and then we've changed this to soft light blending mode to get that textured effect. So what I'm actually going to do, this is how I do it, so I don't again lose that color, that warmth that I'm receiving from that nice warm texture there. Now if it was gray, let's go in and desaturate it. So if we went and actually um, desaturated the paper, the, the texture, then we wouldn't get that color cast. Do you see the difference there? So there's desaturated. So if it, then that's going to actually make the texture gray. Let me show you the saturation so you can see now in normal mode what it looked like. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to go back in the history because I want to keep that saturation there. So here we are again. Now, how do I get this texture off the child and still keep that nice warm glow? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in and make a lasso here on the area that I really don't want the texture to appear. And then I'm going to, once I make this selection, it doesn't have to be the really precise. I'm just going to go in, I'm going to feather it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to blur. So I'm going to go to Gaussian blur and I'm going to make a really heavy blur. And if you can see that, it just actually just blurs that texture right out so then you can't see it. So now, you might ask, what does it look like? So if you can go back and we'll turn it back into normal mode, you can see there where I just basically blurred out all that texture and that's why it disappeared. So that's how, go back to soft light blending mode, that's how you can actually get a texture on your subject, uh, keep the color cast, and make sure that the texture doesn't appear on your subject. Get a texture on your image, sorry. Anyway, thanks for watching and enjoy.